good. Hello, everyone. Today, we're for our coffee talk. We are going to talk about laughter. So have you laughed out loud yet today? Good question. Laughter is good medicine. And so we're going to talk a little bit about some of the science of laughter and also just some of the fun. So laughter has a lot of benefits. Uh, and we're going to listen to a, and, um, a video of a little baby laughing that you'll think it's fun. But I hope that you'll just consider adding some humor to your day today. I do want to let you know, and if you look on the, um, on the online, you'll see some of the resources. I used three different resources that I found. One was called Laughter is the Best Medicine. Uh, from November 2019, 2019. The other is the health benefits of laughter. And then psychologytoday.com has a lot of articles about laughter. One of the unique qualities to being a human being is the ability to laugh and see humor. To laugh um, not just when things are funny, but sometimes we laugh, we break into laughter when we're embarrassed or in an awkward situation. And it, it becomes, uh, it's like it breaks the tension of uh, situations. And some of the researchers believe that laughter perhaps has developed as a bonding experience among large groups of people. That laughter is a very social thing and that when someone begins laughing, then it often becomes contagious. So remember, laughter is contagious, and we can share it with one another. It doesn't mean we can't on our own read something and laugh, but that real belly laugh, that real deep, is often when we are with other people. So what are the benefits of laughter? Well, number one, laughter boosts our immune system. It increases the immune cells and antibodies in our uh, system, and that helps us to fight off things. But it also decreases the stress hormones that have a negative effect on us. Laughter can relax our muscles. A good hearty laugh can help us relax our muscles for up to even 45 minutes afterward. So that's a good, a good thing. Laughter improves our blood circulation, kind of gets the blood flowing, which also adds some protection against heart disease. Some other benefits. Laughter actually burns calories. If you're laughing 10 to 15 minutes straight, you can burn as much as 40 calories. And a study in Norway showed that laughter can help us live longer. They um, studied people who had different diseases that were serious enough, and they found that especially when people were battling cancer, that those who found laughter as part of their lives tended to live longer and uh, certainly enjoyed their time. So that's another benefit of laughter. A good hearty chuckle. <laughs> releases endorphins. They're neurotransmitters in our brain that make us feel good. So it's, uh, it is a natural chemical reaction that uh, actually makes us feel better. It, laughter can improve our mental and our physical resilience. Being able to laugh at a situation can truly make a difference. Laughter actually affects the body in ways that are similar to a vigorous workout session. So not only um, can you, you know, do your physical activity, but laughter because it sort of involves the body can also uh, be helpful in the physical sense. Well, we know that laughter can boost our mood. If we are down, we may not feel like laughing, but if something grabs us and we laugh, it really does make a difference. In, in studies about pain, we've discovered that just simple laughter helps us to 
endure pain. It doesn't necessarily lower the actual pain, but it helps perhaps distract and help us to forget something that's painful for a little while. Laughter can sharpen our ability to remember things. That whole circulation improvement can help us with our memory. Laughter helps alleviate the pressures of daily life. It helps us get through a tough day. So perhaps we should make more of an effort to laugh, to laugh out loud, and to enjoy the humorous things around us. If you've ever been part of a situation where there was anger between people or a conflict going on and the room was very, very serious, sometimes a good laugh or, or uh, something that is humorous can diffuse that anger, can interrupt the conflict, can maybe help people step back for a moment and have a real human connection that can help um, interrupt a conflicting situation. It sort of shifts our perspective from the negative to the positive. And sometimes that's a good balance for all of us. Now, we do laugh when we are alone. And I, you know, you might watch something on TV or read a joke in a book or something. And a chuckle is probably okay, and sometimes we get more than that. But laughing, especially a deep laugh, is more likely to happen when there are other people around and when it happens in groups of people. Um, studies have indicated that laughter is an important part of building relationships. And when people are um, looking for mates in dating and and getting to know people. Funny people are often viewed as attractive, more social, more intelligent. Uh, they're fun to be around. And so laughter uh, can be an important group activity. Well, you might have thought about this, but you know, we adults tend to laugh a lot less than perhaps we did when we were children. And studies do find that to be true, that children may laugh hundreds of times a day, and adults tend to laugh a little bit less. I have a feeling that we'd be healthier if we changed that around and we laughed as much as children do. I, I went on the internet on YouTube and looked at videos of children laughing, and I found one that I want to share with you. There's a whole bunch of them. You could also find videos from, well, what was the famous TV show that I think is still running, America's Funniest Videos, where there's videos of people doing slapstick or stunts that went wrong or something happens quickly or there's, um, uh, you know, David Letterman, the, the comedian who did the late night show, uh, created a category called Stupid Pet Tricks. Mm -hmm and would get laughs out of, out of things that, that animals do. But there is one video of a, little, of a little baby who's laughing just because his father is ripping a piece of paper. And every time there's a rip, this child just laughs and laughs and laughs. So I hope you'll listen to this and just get a kick out of it and maybe laugh along with them. Here's a little boy who's laughing hysterically at his father ripping paper.
What you couldn't see, and it's in the video, is um, this little boy named Micah. He actually is holding a little piece of paper, and he hasn't quite mastered how to rip it himself. Mm. But he's sort of trying, but his father keeps doing this, and the boy's just laughing. <laughs> Ripping a piece of paper, is that funny? Well, it was to the child. So... What a deep, gorgeous, I, I was starting to laugh along with it. The father in the video starts to laugh. Laughter is really good medicine for us. Well, how do we, there we go. How do we bring more laughter into our lives? Well, number one, you can just smile. Smile a little bit. May be intentional when you see someone else to smile. Sometimes when we have things on our mind, like, um, like we do today during the virus, or we have other things in our, in our lives that of course are serious, that we, we, don't, we are occupied and don't smile. So make an effort to smile, especially when you greet someone else. The second way to bring more laughter into your life is to just help shift your attitude by counting your blessings. Being grateful for something today. Today, while we're taping this, it is raining outside. Now, if you're out and about, it's probably not very pleasant. But boy, it'll make the grass green. It'll be, it, it's a good thing to get some rain. And so far, it's a light rain today, so that's a good thing. Count your blessings. Find something to be grateful for. Another way to bring more laughter into your life is when you hear laughter, move to it. Go check it out on the TV. If people are laughing in a room, move closer and try to hear what's going on. Another way is to be sure you spend time with people who are fun and playful and like to enjoy life. As adults, I think we need sometimes to have permission that it's okay to go and play. It's okay to be silly. Um, it is okay to dress up on Halloween. It is okay to do something that's childlike. As an adult, I remember enjoying very much playing with my son when he was little, or playing with some nieces and nephews, and now some great nieces and nephews, <laughs> um, and just enjoying some play and silly time can be a good way to bring some laughter and humor into your life. Bring humor to conversations. Look up a joke. I am not a good one at telling jokes, or I would tell some to you today. But I love to just hear a good joke or a pun or say something fun. Um, and be sure that they're not at someone's expense, but that they're just a funny situation. Did you know that spontaneous laughter is, of course, something we really enjoy? And that's what that little baby was doing, totally spontaneous. But a number of years ago at the church I attend, a friend of mine started a group called Laughter Yoga. And I will tell you that they invited me and I was very skeptical about Laughter Yoga. Um, first of all, I didn't quite know what they meant. And secondly, I knew that it was about simulating laughter, about trying to create laughter, and that that being uh, this therapeutic is spontaneous laughter. I wasn't really sure, but I went one time and tried it, and I discovered that it was true. You could just start to create just laugh and pretend like you're laughing at something funny. And it starts to get contagious and it starts to feel like the real thing. Studies have shown that simulated laughter has those same uh, physical, uh, releasing the endorphins, getting the circulation going in your body, the same effect as spontaneous laughter. 
and sometimes can just turn in to being funny and laughter itself. But somehow our bodies are made to do this laughing thing that is really good for us. Often hearing other people's laugh trigger our own laughter. And so that's what happened uh, in this video as well. Well, we should all develop our own sense of humor. We all have different personalities, but learn to laugh at yourself. Learn to take yourself not too seriously when something happens or when you make a mistake or something. Learn to laugh at yourself and laugh at situations that happen around us. Like I said, don't do so at someone else's expense, at least not in person. But I do think it's okay to watch like something on TV, like the America's Funniest Video Shows, when something does happen to someone that in reality was probably serious, but when you look at it with a little distance, it is hilarious. We can also add humor in our lives by just adding reminders around our homes um, that are humorous. Toys, funny posters, a photo that's fun. When you look at photos from 100 years ago, they're all posed and they're all very serious. And boy, I love um, a more um, casual photo that captures something going on and that's fun. Uh, you can get a little toy, a little squeeze thing for your desk, or a little something that you can play with. Adults, it's okay to play games and with toys. Remember funny things. Repeat stories. Tell them. Avoid negativity in your life. It's not worth it. Find that inner child that, that would have laughed at all kinds of things and and enjoy that. Play a little, laugh a little. Um, if you have children in your life that you can call or visit or something, then enjoy that. And if not, then do so with some of your friends. Don't let the stress of everyday worries steal the joy in your life. Develop a sense of humor. So laugh is, laughter is good medicine. Laugh often and laugh out loud. It's okay to laugh and it's very healthy. I hope you and I get to laugh together soon and for many years to come here at Village on the Green. Thank you.